We often put people up on pedestals, viewing them like Greek statues, gods of porcelain. But the thing is, everyone can crack. You stare at them, not expecting them to breathe or feel like you can. But humans are humans, flesh and bone. No one is immune to the poison of their own self-criticism. The truth is, you have the power to bash your body and insult yourself, but you also have just enough strength to be in love with it. It just takes a lot of guts. So these are my roots. As a kid, I was a hurricane. Not that that has changed much. I'm still a mess. I'm still barefoot and I don't brush my hair, covered in bruises and scars from climbing trees and skateboarding. But I never thought of a mess as being a bad thing. As I grew older and my body changed, boobs, hips, and lips, I was looked at differently by others. I used to never care about what mirrors would tell me, but all of a sudden I began comparing myself to these porcelain statues and imagining what it would take to be in a museum. A lot of my upbringing took place with the Japanese culture. Every time I went to Japan to visit my family, I would be going to the onsens, the public baths. From a young age, I saw nudity as something natural. All these bodies from every age were stunning and one of a kind. Everyone was their own skin and hair and shape. I was taught that a naked body is just that, a naked body. And it only belongs to you. I was taught that as well in an international school community with students from all around the world. Skin color was something I looked at as just being different shades of human. It is so freaking easy to obsess over physical qualities, but that's not even half of who you are. There are people in your life that look at you the way you wish you looked at yourself. So why are we looking so much in the mirror's reflection? You are a strong and a beautiful human. You need to stop looking for that in a mirror. There are many more reflections, more honest and better worth your time. Look for the reflections in people's eyes. Send this video to anyone that needs to be reminded of their beauty. Because being loved fully, embracing ourselves and each other won't happen overnight, but it's how we were raised who you surround yourself with, and what reflections you choose to see. The topic of beauty and self-criticism is so complex and broad that I really need your perspective because we all come from different countries, very different packaging, and have different ages and genders. And I would love your perspective. So, if you would like to help out to continue talking about this, send a video to the link below. All you have to do is set up the camera with you talking directly to your reflection and just record that internal monologue being said out loud, just figuring out how we feel about what we look like. So share a bit of wisdom and talk to yourself. I can't wait to see your responses.